G'day everybody, and welcome back for some more scrapyard stuff. And this time things are a little bit different. Largely because the last time I played on this scenario we didn't have the update. But also, I hadn't published the scenario. Now the scenario is public, I can actually play this on my server. Which means, in theory... If I've set things up correctly, you guys might be able to use points to spawn scrap. To spawn things. And it should just happen. I don't have to do anything. Um, of course, if there's no room for something to spawn, it may not spawn. As I've got a whole lot of junk around here. Um, but yeah, that's... That's the... Um, the big progress. So I've got Nev's Twitch integration running and I don't have to monitor that anymore, which is fantastic because I was so bad at it. <laughs> so I've also done a little thing that I think is kind of cool, uh, which is, let's just move this around a little bit. Move over here. And then, I'm gonna press... Oh wait, hang on. Let's just do a few more things. Make sure everything's right out of whack. Alright, now I press 9. And it automatically stows itself. How good is that? <laughs> I set the thing up. Uh, thanks so much, Smiggles Tech, for the 30 months at tier 2. Uh, before it even properly gone live. And thanks, Froggy. Thanks for 16 months. And Kitsu, you madman. Thank you for the 2,000 bits as well. <laughs> thanks so much. <coughs> and thank you, Mr. Shinigami, for the prime sub. Uh, so yeah, now I've now I've got this working. It means I can have a look through my GPS list of some stupid number of things that I found uh, and decide which ones I was actually wanting to go to. So hangar with a tank, hangar with a truck, Atmo small, large Atmo small grid one and two. I should probably head to them, large cargo container small grid. Let's start with the large Atmos. I'm going to hide these other ones. Maybe? Maybe I'll leave them all up, actually. They're kind of all in a big circle around me. That's unhelpful. Ah, there we go. No, it would not be better if it properly clanged. It is better as it is. Uh, I'm taking my flyer with me and it is no longer in a spot that's going to block me. Uh, because I'm on a server, you're going to notice a lot more jiggle of subgrids, like you can see with the trailer. Uh, even though the server is like 60 kilometers from me, uh, it's still going to do that. But don't worry, those it doesn't matter. <laughs> Things like that will happen, but they don't exactly matter. Uh, let's start with... Something closer than these ones. Was it 1.8 Ks away? What? Thanks, Unfluffy Dave. Thank you for 26 months. Australia is down under, is the UK up over? Uh, wouldn't like Sweden or Finland be like up over? Or Iceland? Somewhere even further north? Scotland, which is part of the UK, I guess. I suppose, technically. What is that? Uh, did that spawn work? I don't know. I think I've got too much junk around my base. Oh, that's pinked. I'm not going there. And yes, I know, I just said I guess about something that I do know to be true. It's six o'clock in the morning. The sun's not even up. 
I'm gonna forgive myself that one. Let's go to this large Atmo, 4Ks away. That's a good start. That's a place to start. <sighs> thanks, Master MSC, for the 10 months. Swell. And thanks, Sherlock, for the prime sum. Uh, yes, this is up to date with the latest DLC. There are now event controller blocks to be found. Uh, the version I am playing is not going to be the same as the public version. Largely because I'm probably going to rush and add things and break things. So I'd rather break things for my own version rather than having to deal with 10,000 bug reports uh, when I stop streaming. Oh, how is my get down from here? I think I have to go this way. Which means going near that assert observer. Maybe I can find a way this way. I need to get down into the valley. Thanks, Kitsu. I really love the power poles. They... Yeah. I've changed them so that you now have... You'll soon have a reason to actually go investigate the power poles too. Because I've added some uh, possibility of vehicle spawns right near them. Um, Tommaso, running out of oxygen on Pertum is not a bug, it is intended behaviour. That's Pertum. Uh, as it turns out, Triton is easy mode for the scenario, Earth is normal difficulty, and Pertum would be high difficulty. In some ways. Uh, Earth and Pertum have some different things that make them difficult. Like, Earth, if you get to a flat area, is definitely middle difficulty. Earth in the mountains is probably the hardest of the lot. Yeah, per term you run out of oc- What the heck? Um. Hello? That was weird. I pressed the space bar to do the handbrake then and it turned my parking brake on. And I then couldn't switch it off for a moment. Very odd. Uh, so on Pertum, the storms uh, drop your oxygen level availability. That would probably be why you're um, suffocating occasionally. That looks like a billboard there. Uh, and for those who are at a point where they're restarting their runs, I have updated the scenario to include Nev's um, Make Grids Go Fall to the Ground mod. Ah, uh, yes, C. I see nothing useful there. Oh, there we go. The abandoned settlement did work that time. The spawn did work. Yay! Hey, Aragath. How's it going? No, chat integration did not fail. Chat integration is working. And I am going to... Ooh. Oh, that's right. This was a plane. I forgot that this was a plane. There's a part of me that wants to kind of bring whole scrap, like whole vehicles back with me. But there's another part of me that realizes that I will end up with too much stuff on the trailer and probably not be able to get up hills. And so... <laughs> thanks for the... Ah. Zuriel, I can't remember if I said thank you. Thank you. Uh, and thanks, Eric, friend. Thanks for the 100 bits. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, I guess so the the recent build the recent build video I did for this mod, what I've got is something that's actually live in the version that I'm playing. Um, my what I'd been doing, and some of you guys might have been around when, and seen it, was I'd been using um, hinges that were sort of set in the ground to have small grid bits that spawned with the large grid bits. And obviously that was a bit clangy. I wasn't particularly happy with it. So what I've done instead is I've made it so that the sheds are now connected to small grids via connectors that I have MES delete once the thing spawns. And so that deletion means that I can have completely separated grids and no clanging. Which is great. There's no more trying to put a small grid into the ground, which the game don't like. For understandable reasons. <laughs> uh, Zeriel, I've already ordered the spider plushie. <laughs> the Savaroid plushie. So, yes. <laughs> Assuming they get... Um, enough orders to go into production? Yes, I will be getting one. I haven't checked the numbers that it's up to yet. Uh, Aragath, the way it gets deleted is through an MES, uh, thing that can delete specific blocks. Oh, there's heavy armor on this. Okay. There you go, it's loose. Um, if I, if I place a remote on this, wait, did I leave anything in here? I did. Oh, it is, it did get funded, sweet. So yes, I'll be getting one. Should be owned by me now. Yeah. Or at least neutral. Sweet. I missed something. Oh, Eric. That sucks you lost your job, mate. That's what I missed. Yeah, so what I've got is set up for the deletion of the blocks is, as Nev just wrote in chat, um, the I've got MES to, the, to set up to delete any block with a specific name, and I just named the block delete this block. So anything with the ability... I think it only... Basically anything that has a um, control panel entry can be done that way. So connectors work well as a way to transmit, uh, transfer between, uh, convert between, man, my brain, words, bad, to convert between um, small and large grid. There's no power cell in that. Is there anything else in here that I want? Might as well take the motor from that. Oh, there's some batteries on here. Anything else? Nothing in you. Oh, there's some cargo containers. I wonder if. Oh. Inventory full. Auto cannon magazines, eh? Interesting. I suspect someone, me, forgot to take the auto cannon magazines out of the cockpit block that were in there from when uh, Jackson was flying this plane. <laughs> <laughs> against us in wrong way up. <laughs> that is my suspicion. There's more in this one. Thanks, XE6. Thanks for the 200 bits. Uh, there. Oh. 
ammo. I'll take that. Okay. So, I might have, um, hmm. I might need to change this. <laughs> Might be a little rich on the ammo front. Just a little. Just a touch. <laughs> Thank you for the sub, Eric. Thank you very much. Well, to be fair, yes, I am nerfing I will nerf the plane after I've taken the parts, true. But I've also not used the massive number of grids that have been that had been on the highway sections uh, and now I've nerfed them so that I don't have access to them either so now I know I now I can't get them but I could have had them but I didn't use them so you know swings and roundabouts or something come on gyro get somewhere that I can easily pick you up Or we'll get stuck on the wings. Come on. Come on. Come on. Alright, that'll work. Let's go use the crane. Oh yeah, of course, Jax, because we had to balance the cargo drain, didn't we? When doing all that stuff. Oh, hang on. I haven't set up my... I don't need these. Eh. I haven't set up all my landing gear. Two A. Switch lock. Two B. Switch lock. Two C. Switch lock. Well, I forgot to do that probably should have done that when I was setting up the crane with the return to uh, base command. What? Oh. I pressed the wrong button. Of course I pressed the wrong button. Hey! <laughs> How's it going, Zuck? And everyone who'd been watching Zuck's shenanigans this morning over on the king thing switch lock and switch lock and then six Oof. wait what oh apparently because of my connector I don't have a B anymore alright now I can move that out we're going to grab this large Atmo. I'm probably going to want to have my mag plate on there. Oh, which is it? Is that one? I hope. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the gift sub, Eric. Oh, jeez. Okay. So my new crane's a bit heavier than my old one. I might need to pick up, like, some... Uh... Some little bits of scrap to put like the plate just to put into the crane base so that I don't rock like I just did then I think it might also be con like something else that's contributing to the awkwardness is um, the fact that I've got the pistons set to work a lot harder than they had before how you been Zuck? 
Did you enjoy watching the uh, rapid, rapid unplanned disassembly this morning? Well, morning for me. Night for lots of other people. <laughs> Come on, get the gyro. tell. Nope. Oh, I'm just kicking it. That's not helpful. This does make me wonder if you could play like foosball with this though. Make a foosball table using scripted cranes. Um... Yeah, what the heck, let's put this right at the back. Oh, actually, it's really small. I'm going to put this at the front. It was kind of disturbing watching all those people cheer as millions of dollars of engineering just went poof. Yeah, yeah. Uh, thanks, Matcha. <laughs> thanks for giving Sokka sub. Uh, for those just joining, the the reason my trailer is jiggling is because I'm actually playing this on a server uh, so that the Twitch integration can work properly because it doesn't work on non-server games because it's a, a Torch plugin. Alrighty, that should be everything I want from here, which means press that, press that, hop out, and let it deal with its thing. Get a bit of mass to weigh down my truck. Um, don't know how much I really need to have. I do need some extra mass, I think, just to make the crane a bit safer, but it's not too bad. So I think, I think I'm at the point where I'm def like, I'm kind of basically trying to get the final pieces to put together a ship that can leave to space. And then obviously by the time I manage to get to space, hopefully I've figured out a quick way of making some <laughs> space scrap. Uh, so that we can have that too. Alright. I think I'm just going to delete the rest of this. Or the fact that I deleted a gyroscope. Totally didn't happen. Alright, jetpack doesn't work. I was about to try and fly up so I could see through the grass. See if there are any more little bits. Turn that back off. Bring that up. There's another thing. Oh, 7.8 k's away. Alright, so. Uh, L, Atmo, small, lower case, this one. Delete. What's close to me now? Hangar with tank is 2.5 k's away. Alright, let's go there. So one of the things I've been I've done since last time, so two weeks ago, because obviously last week was mucking around in the update instead of scrapping. Uh, one thing I've done is replace all the sheds, but I've got more sheds with more variety and more interesting things in them. 
So hopefully I manage to find some of the new ones today. Um, so the reason that my spawns aren't like the Mayday spawns where they periodically send a beacon is because I didn't want to give them power. And to have them do that broadcast, they would need power. Ah, uh, yeah, Aragath, I know about the control... Control Alt B? Control Shift B, I know about. What does Control Alt B do? What do we got? Anything I actually really want to take? Control Alt B includes any grid that is only attached by mag plates. Oh, wait, 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 wait. So Control Alt B would would that work for a prefab? I assume so. Holy what? I mean, I'm still going to need to do the deletion stuff, but yeah, not needing the connectors, that saves heaps of space. Oh man, that's awesome. <laughs> I figured you had a reason why you were asking, but... Oh, that's cool. Oh, that opens up so many opportunities for this. Oh man. That, yeah, that opens up a whole lot. And a let's pink it emote for Twitch. Um, hmm. Not sure how to approach that. <laughs> but maybe. Is there anything in these cargoes? I probably want to take those anyway. Uh, let's grind you down, get your grids. Oh, and your ammo. Yeah, there are there are lots and lots of <laughs> obscure shortcuts in SE. I know, like, I feel like I know a pretty decent number of them, but yeah, there are definitely going to be some I don't know, like that. All oh, right, we got solar panels. Aha. Uh -huh. Um. Do I take them back intact? We need, yeah. So, with the Twitch integration thing, we do need to figure out fun things that aren't annoying. Um, so, there are... There are many things that people have suggested and that we've thought of that kind of just end up annoying. Um, I do wonder, Nev, whether it's possible to change the colour of the thing I'm currently building with. So if I'm placing blocks, it'll change my colour rather than changing the colour of existing blocks. So if I'm not paying attention, I end up colouring things weirdly. Because that would be less annoying and potentially amusing if someone does it at the right time. Because I like stuff like deleting grids, stuff like um, repainting an entire grid, that's really annoying if I've spent ages trying to paint something in a particular way. Thanks, Karma Zebra's win. Thanks for the prime sub. Switch tool to grinder. Yeah. Oh. 
Under the certain circumstances, climb renaming to the Twitch username is probably okay, but there are... I was reading some a post by someone who has unfortunately been on the wrong end of such Inventory things, and full. Twitch isn't that careful about what they approve as a username. Inventory full. Oh. Inventory full. So, uh, I just had a thought. Has anybody had the situation where they've been placing one of these down thinking it was a cube? Uh, yeah. See, so this, this is the biggest problem in Space Engine. So much of in any building game like this, so much of the things you can do to people would get annoying really fast. But the, my thought with that inverted corner was, what if change to inverted corner? No, you're not here to annoy, Tomasa. You're here to be amused. Capac's here to annoy. Can't change the hell block. Fair enough. Just needed to open up a hole so I can get this tank out. So what I'd like to do um, is sometime soon make myself a bit of a custom mod for drop pods so you guys can spawn things. But what I want to do with the drop pods is make it so that it's so they're like unknown signals or like you know the the way that things worked in the Hunger Games that sort of style of thing but so I don't know whether it's a nice or an evil thing so you can you can spawn something mean if you want or you can spawn something nice Data pads with locations don't really work. Because you'd need... I mean, they possibly could, but it'd be really complicated. Alright. That should do us. For those bits. Yeah, definitely not summon weather. We learned that lesson. <laughs> that lesson was very well learned from uh, the test stream where I did the stuff because that was not fun, not being able to see. Set things up so people can clear the weather, absolutely. Uh, one of the things that Nev has added to it is the ability to set up poles so instead of it just being um, people using their channel points you, uh, there will be periodically uh, there can be periodic poles that um, everybody gets to vote on Which I think works a lot better in a lot of situations. Yeah, more like, exactly like Noita for anyone who's familiar with that. That was exact, that was actually where I got the idea from, from watching Capac play that and the integration in it. 
Uh, that tank will be empty, and I'm going to get rid of that clangy bit that I just almost died on. Cool. Oh, right, the solar panels. That's why the grid's still owned. Play the sensor sound. Oh. But yeah, I think, I think an MES mod designed specifically around the... Um, Well, that didn't take damage. Uh, specifically around the concept is probably going to be one of the most useful ideas. What? How is this still access denied? There's nothing on this... Uh, I wonder if I can take control... Of there's nothing else on this grid, as far as I can tell, that could possibly be owned. So if I go and make myself a little button panel, a little control panel, I should be able to take control. Now if there's a block, there's a block picker plug-in. Nope, still owned. Huh. Do you have computers in here? No. Weird. Very weird. Oh yeah, I, I don't don't get, you know my feeling on plugins as well. Um. <laughs> okay, seriously, access. Whatever. They're loose now, I can take them. And I've got some steel plate to be able to fix up my hangar so I can start working on the gantry crane. I can't remember what the exact conditions were that allowed me to take control of some of these things before. Uh, grids that had no computers on them. I was able to put like a control panel on them and then take control, but I'm not sure what's. I can't. I don't. I, even at the time, I don't think I realized the, I knew exactly what the cause was. But something was allowing me to transfer ownership. Oh, oh. Eesh. Oh, there's no subgrid damage. Do, 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 do. Probably don't need uh, another empty large hydrogen, like large grid hydrogen tank, but. It's the sort of thing that if I don't take it now, I could easily regret it later. Oof. Yep, this the crane is using the park script. favorite of the crane scripts because it's the one I know how to use. <laughs> uh. Yep. 
Yeah, the crane's probably a bit speedy. I may uh, need to add some controls back to my hotbar to slow it down. But I'm kind of liking how much... Even though it's jerky, I'm liking how quickly it allows me to do stuff. Compared to how normally slow I set these things up to be. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, that's, that's fair. I could mess with the ramp up time. That might be a decent option in this setting. Okay, that's about right. Lock. Unlock. Uh, I'm specifically not using the mag plate myself to the ground thing. Largely because I find it <laughs> amusing to have the risk of toppling. It adds a, it adds a certain something. try and place this one vertically so spin you around I mean that's not exactly the vertically way I wanted to do it but it'll do Make sure I can get on that one in front of the little flyer there Be Huh. Oh. Oh whatever, that'll work. It's not exactly ideal, but <laughs> it's functional. Was spawning a spider considered? Yes, but um not something I'd do in this scenario, because in this scenario, a spider would be horror. Because um, I, I really don't have much means to defend myself. Oops. Oh yeah, no doubt this looks janky. <laughs> it's kind of supposed to. Oh, oh yeah. Alright, I'm going to place that on the other one. There you go. That's locked. Now I just gotta grab those cargo containers. Still haven't updated the trailer at all, actually. I was more interested in fixing my crane. I might want to go around the other side. Uh, da, da. Oops, wrong one. Fix this up before I start driving. And then there we go. Uh, prejudged, I don't 
I'm probably the worst person to ask about the any of the Space Engineers DLC. Largely because I don't even think about... Well, I was gifted them the last two times before I even woke up. But <laughs> even when I bought them for myself, I didn't really even think about it. I was just like, yep, I'm buying this. There was no forethought. There was no decision to be made. It was an unquestionable, yes, I will be buying this. Because yes, I want more decorative blocks. Uh, <laughs> so, to be, to be honest about my own shortcomings in that regard, I'm not the person to ask about whether they're worth it. Because to me, they are. Without any doubt. Because I, like, I've always played Space Engineers more as a... Like, kind of using it more as a tool to do... To design things? More than something to build... Like, as... I probably used it just as much to be a thing about how do I design something that looks nice as I have about actually engineering a thing. Now lucky? Yes. Okay, cool. And that can return to home, and there's not really anything else useful here, so let's pink it. Oh, I reset my colors, didn't I? Oh, the horror. I should probably just delete these, shouldn't I? Yeah, I probably should just delete it. <laughs> Rather than pinking it to delete it later, I should probably just do it now. There we go, done. There's a delightful shade of missing texture. Those wondering, there is a re oh. Let's go to Hangar with Truck because I think that place that just spawned is along the way. Uh, Hangar with Tank needs to go. Thanks, Dust Puppy. Thanks for the Prime sub. Uh, Red Knight, I don't know what that is. Yeah, Automatons is free, but the um, the cosmetics are DLC. That's how it always is. It's the, the color palette thing. Yeah. I probably should use something like that. Or is, th I, is that a mod or a plugin? Uh, it'd be po probably possible to have a plugin for the server that deletes grids uh, when they're painted a certain color. Uh, or just to add, like, 
One thing that Nev and I were talking about was possibly having a plugin for Torch that deletes a grid once you attach a specific block to that grid. Uh, so you cr come up with a custom block that costs nothing to place. You place it on the grid, and when that's on a grid, the grid gets deleted. The trouble is... That would be very, very problematic with ownership rules. Because you could then place it on another player's grid and have it deleted. But um, there are certain things that flag, at least in MES, grids as NPC grids. So I'm wondering whether that might be a flag that can be used to make sure it only works on NPC grids. Oh, maybe I talked about it with someone else, Nev. I don't remember these things. Alright, that's the blue... That's the... Oh, is that... That's something over there. Billboard. Which I might just delete as I go past. Um, the thing is, with Space Engineers, at some point... You just got to accept that um, it takes a lot less than a an awkward, um, an awkwardly implemented grid deletion thing uh, for people to do horrible stuff in a PvP scenario and be complete jerks. Yeah, I, I did remember the other, the, the protection thing that we were talking about as well, Nev. How, so that um, if you had a server, you can have no grid cleanup on, but, or like a very slow periodic grid cleanup, um, but have a protection zone block that means that stuff doesn't despawn around your base. What is in the grass there? Uh huh. Well, this is definitely one of my new spawns, because this is one of the changes I made last night. Now stuff like the pipelines will have vehicles occasionally. Computers, I'll take those. Metal grids, I'll take those. And I've got enough gyros. Also, this is heavy armor. That's actually a fair number of grids in this. That's probably okay, because the thing's got basically nothing else useful on it. Unless you're desperate for a gyro at the time. Inventory full. Oops. Thanks for attribution. Thanks for the prime sub. made an error. There is something in the grass here. Oh. I think there's something else in the grass here. Oh well. <laughs> I'm not finding it now. Oh. Okay, that would explain why I didn't look like I was walking up the ramp. Keep going. Oh, I can feel that extra mass that I've got now as I start trying to drive off. Oh! Oh no! Oh! Oh, this is a bad place. Uh, oh, nope, didn't want to press control G. My control key got stuck down. Um, do, do, do. 
Do, 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 do. Come on, trailer, pull me out. Oh, poop. Come on, come on. Yes. Power trailer for the wind. And we turn that off because I don't need that except for under extenuating circumstances. Let's go over to that bit of sandy transition and drive through that instead. Uh, so, yeah, I should probably, if it was something I needed to use a lot, I should probably set up a timer block to toggle the wheels on, toggle the programmable block on and off uh, when I need that control. The reason I have to turn the wheels off and the programmable block off when I'm not using it is that the wheels use a lot of power like a huge amount of power how unfortunate broken cranes might be something good in that dumpster though let's check it out One of these dumpsters I put something good in. Does not appear to be this one. I deliberately hid some good stuff in some of the unexpected places just so that people were forced to look through them all. <laughs> Go dumpster diving. from the crane. Don't think so. Oh, some metal grids, I'll take those. Anything in Ammo munitions. Might need to go grab some stuff from the truck so I can get up to the top there where there's some more stuff. Some of the cranes might go boom. Some of them don't. It's up to you to find out. Oh. Nothing. Nothing. Oop, almost walked off the edge. Uh, there's no real goodies in the crane's back weight. It's just armor. That's why I didn't worry about going to it. Alright, let's... 
Let's delete these. I was less fussed about clearing up the grids when I was playing this as a local save. Uh, but now that it's on the server, I think it's probably best if I clean up as I go. Twitch integration for a temporary buddy drone. That could be kind of fun uh, if playing with AI enabled as well. <laughs> thanks, Leather Boy. Thanks for the, the bits for the choose for Charlie. <laughs> uh, uh, right. Another 4Ks to go. And figuring out how I get back up to the top. Yeah, exactly, Nev. It'd be the the helper drone sort of thing would be like a like the helper ghosts in uh, Noita. Tiny drone that follows you for five minutes, plays music. Oh no, not plays music. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Definitely not the music. <coughs> that would be a, a way for that helper drone to get shot. Oh. Hello. There's a lot out on this plane. Uh, let's go to the smaller thing that's over here first. So that's going to be harder to spot later. Yeah. Yeah, let's check this one out first, sorry. Yeah. Oh, don't roll the trailer. But yeah, I, th I think um, what I'll probably do in the coming weeks is do a bit of a stream of making my own unknown signals that are some of these things. Because uh, we can use some of the new automaton behavior to make a follower drone out of some of them. Make other bits and pieces like that. Is that I think that'll be a great way to add some fun that doesn't actually get too annoying. If we're actually making a mod specifically for purpose. Do I want this cargo container? I have quite a few of them at home. I'm not sure I worry about it. The hydrogen tank on the other hand. That I do want. Hey Dex. I know a lot of other streamers would probably be happy with it, but I'm not a fan of the, like, sound alerts, random sounds sort of stuff. Um, like, I spend quite a lot of time trying to get my audio mix right. <laughs> I really don't want random noises all over the place. Oh yeah, I probably should check what's in the cargo, that's a fair point. There might be something good. There would be some amusement to be had and under certain mod conditions it would be potentially very very dangerous but there would be some amusement to be had from um, putting the option to spawn a drone in that follows you around but is also broadcasting Grind down the cargo, see if anything good pops out. Was it no? Alright, let's 
delete this thing. No. No. So if you're playing with Reavers and you have a broadcasting drone start following you, that would be very bad. Probably have to remember to blacklist that one. Up in the hills. Oh, there's a crane over there. It's an intact crane. Oh, is it going to try and kill me? We will find out soon. <laughs> That's, that is a very, very good point, Meztaz. Uh, be careful when deleting when facing your grid. Yes. Uh... That is why you do cut instead of delete, as I was doing. Yep. Uh, I don't need another ruined... Ooh, I do want the beacon, though. I think. I probably want a beacon, right? Yeah. I haven't taken any beacons. Anything else good on this? No. out in you. Oh! Double survival kits. I'll take the medical component, though. Uh, I should probably take this battery. And this hydrogen tank. Access to the battery. Oh! Ice! Handy. Oh, I'm so hoping that crane is the one with the uh, basic assembler. So hoping it. Right, let's just chop this off here. Huh. Weird. I wonder what was allowing me to do that before. Maybe it's changed. I'd previously been able to do something like this, and then I was able to take control of that battery. But it appears it's not letting me anymore. I've had so many people being like, can you please make it so we can make battery components? Can you please do these things? My answer? No. No power cells. Lootable only. Because it's it's specifically how I wanted the thing to be. It's that part of Escape from Mars that I really, really enjoyed. Huh. 
how many of those little hydrogen tanks would be the equivalent of a large? Uh, yes, I agree with the answer of an unholy amount. Huh. Yeah, but advanced welding doesn't let you grind it off when you do it, so I'm trying to figure out how I can change the ownership of this battery given it's got no computers in it. Whoops. Well, it's done now. That ground the wrong thing. Oh uh, yeah, Takari, the, the control panel wasn't working. I tried that just before, it's not working. No, you don't lose hydrogen transferring it from one tank to another, unlike battery power, which you do lose 20%. So once I get back from this trip, I think there are there's one little task that I'm going to do, mainly so people stop mentioning it. <laughs> I'm going to work on the trailer. And then I'm going to start working on the uh, gantry crane. Where's that crane I saw? Might. Oh, it's directly ahead. I won't. I won't forget it. do we have here? Oh! 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 Hello! 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 That is a nice find. Double large Atmos. Oh, and two intact engines. Thank you. I'm taking your power cells. three tanks to take as well. Look, yeah, there's a part of me that would be tempted to take the whole truck, but I'm already kind of heavy. Do I care about a custom turret controller at this point? Sure, I do. Have you got anything in you? Uh, no. You've got your three tanks, which I want. What about you? Dump stuff. You got anything good? Uh, no. Let's get rid of you while we're here. bunch of wheels. I'm just hoping one of these cargo containers will contain or will have some power cells in it. They're definitely part of the loot table. It's just they're quite rare. Hey, 
Thanks, Mope Mope. <laughs> Thanks for continuing horses. Give some. Upstairs. Not invulnerable. Huh. Surprised that didn't hurt. I had to check. <laughs> There's always that moment of... Did that happen because I'm invulnerable? No. Ugh. I don't want... Wait, I do want... I do want normal... Maybe I do want a normal grinder. Maybe I want to get rid of the drill. And I want to add a normal grinder. So I've got both options. Huh. Twice. So I should have left that on because I can delete this one. Now, get these tanks off. Take the cockpit off. Inventory full. Let's turn creative off just while I'm messing with things. I've got two splitsy zero. Yes. Good. That's out of the way. Hopefully, hopefully as Keen are working on VRH3, they think about stuff like how useful it would be for players to be able to adjust the grinder speed on their hand tools. And also thinking about some of, like, once they get to their, to the point of creating a game, thinking about some of the balance and quality of life things that are desired in Space Engineers. Parts. You now, I need to chop out these and the thrusters. Um. It's not going to let me while it's connected to the truck. That helps. Oh, nice. More ice. Oh. Turns out cockpits uh, often have ice. I don't remember adding ice to cockpits. I obviously did, but I don't remember doing it. He's 
Loads of little tanks. Spawn has been lucrative. <laughs> the ice is just all water that leaked out of the cup holders. Yep, sure. <laughs> uh, I'll stick with that story. Why not? Do you know what I need? I need a tank draining system on the trailer. Or, yeah, probably on the trailer. So that I can drain these and destroy them while I'm out and about. But I'm not sure what I would drain them into yet. Because I've only got... I haven't found a large small grid tank yet. Wonder what this is going to do. Ah! Kind of getting pretty full on the trailer, so once I go to that uh, the crane over there, I think that's going to be as much as I'm going to do on this trip, and I'm going to have to head back to base. Inventory full. Inventory um, full. I I don't I don't feel like this is an overly generous um an overly generous find. This isn't, this is a random find, so I've set it up so that occasionally now um, the construction sites will spawn with vehicles. And rarely they'll spawn with two. I just got lucky. And I got lucky with which vehicle spawn, because this doesn't, like, it's not like I picked to make this spawn. Sometimes you just get real lucky. I have been tossing up whether it is too generous to have two of these thrusters on one truck. Uh, but considering one of them only has steel plate in it, it's not really going to get you flying that quickly. Oh, these little tanks, while I'm collecting them, they don't give you much. <laughs> There's not a lot of fuel in them. So, I don't, there's not, like, it's not a big, oh my gosh, so amazing sort of thing. They're kind of a bit lame. So yeah, I wouldn't think of having found this many of them in one thing uh, <laughs> to be an amazing find. They're kind of like, um, if you've played Skyrim, it's like in the early game, deciding whether or not to take the armor that you get from all of the enemies. It's like, yeah, I can sell it for one or two gold, but is it worth the effort of taking it back and being encumbered and all of that rubbish? Sometimes yes. Sometimes no. Yeah, so one of the reasons I put large thrusters on that truck is because to make the truck look like it had a proper load of small thrusters would basically give you everything you needed. The large ones, a bit more annoying. <laughs> so I was being deliberately annoying, giving just kind of 
Uh, something that makes you think you've got something good when in ma actuality it's probably not as great as you um, initially imagined. And once you're later on and you can build them, then it's probably not so bad to be finding them anyway. love my tank modern art that I get to build. Uh, Tex, the one I'm using is the one that's the same as Shaq's using in his series, the improvised experimentation. Uh, but I've modified the settings so that it's weak. So I dislike being able to move too much stuff. It just turns out tanks are really light. Okay. Thanks are done. Let's go get the crane and pick up those thrusters. Oh, and delete this. Energy low. Yes, hydrogen is lighter than air. The tanks required to contain hydrogen are very much not. Because hydrogen is very difficult to contain. It's one of the reasons why it's a very difficult fuel source to work with. Yeah, it's obvious. I got really lucky with this grinder. <laughs> it's not even the only one I've got. Yes, compressed light hydrogen is also not lighter than air. That is another valid point. the sculpture just dropping it yay that worked Get that in there. And locked. And retract. No, wrong retract. Wrong retract! Retract the retraction. Okay, that's better. <laughs> and collapse. And let's delete the grids. Uh... I've left block tools, the block welder, and grinder available. Apparently, there's a way to circumvent my restrictions with using the Xbox controller. Um, but I have no idea how to fix that. Um, so if you're using an Xbox controller at the moment, unfortunately, you're just going to have to use self-control. No, road train, not screw console. Console players... 
are just as valid as PC. Think of the way to phrase that. I mean, I, I have always been... I've been a PC gamer since I was four. Um, the first console I actually owned was an N64. So... Um, I, yeah, I'd been gaming on a PC for a long time before I ever got a console. But people playing with an Xbox controller, they're playing on PC because this this scenario does not work on consoles. Okie dokie. What have you got for me, Crane? What have you got? I've owned an N64, Xbox 360, and I bought an Xbox One X to try out Space Engineers, which I used as a tax write-off, because I didn't buy it for any other purpose. <laughs> um, and I basically have never played, n never actually used it. I briefly tried to play... Okay. Uh, I briefly tried to play Red Dead Redemption on it and lost interest way too quickly. That... I think is a cargo container. That is a valid and annoying point you make, Tex. I mean, only gamers make the distinction between console and PC to everyone else where gamers living in our parents' basement. <sighs> even though most... Even though a very large proportion of gamers these days are parents themselves. Or even grandparents. I think the grandparent gamers are... Probably a smaller proportion. My other half keeps reminding me not to assume that Toby's going to like playing games. And I'm like, come on. Alright, Crane, what are you going to do to me? Oh, let's check this first. Ta. Oh, cut off the lid. Whoops. And a whole bunch of conveyors. Okay. Imagine how annoying it would be if I'd made this so that you had to get, like, had to actually find stuff like, um, rotors and pistons. Oof. That would have been so bad. Alright, here goes. Where am I going to die? <laughs> Toby will like No Man's Sky and be disowned. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I remember me building these. Sheepishly approach the cockpit. Inventory full. Oh, better welder. Sensor went off. Nothing happened. Okay. Um Right. Uh I'm going to climb down. And let's chop this thing down. Preferably falling away from my truck. What kind of dog is Charlie? She is a rescue mutt. Um, she is a whole bunch of different things. Great Dane, Irish Wolfhound. Um, there's a... There's a non-breed, which is a common mix here, called uh, Bull Arab, which was some guy's attempt to make a pig hunting dog out of Greyhounds, Great Danes, and English Bull Terriers, and she's probably got some of that in her too. Where's my truck? That way. I think I'm safe. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, that came loose much quicker than I thought. Timber. <laughs> Hello. Oh, what? What? Oh, I hate when that happens. Why is it sometimes when you grind stuff like that down, you don't get the goodies, but other times you do? Ah, warheads. Are these going to blow up? Maybe not. I will take the bits then. Um, yeah. Now that I know what... <laughs> now that I know what Aragath told me, I can make these a lot more interesting. Control-Alt-B and being able to blueprint stuff that has landing gears attached. Oh my gosh. I can do so many things. So many potential, especially with this crane, I can totally rework how it's done. Because instead of having to have the giant rotor in there, I can hide it all and make it much smaller. It is going to add so much possibility to this mod. I did clear that, yeah. Inventory full. Oops. Probably move the truck closer. Uh, Edric, I suspect Control Alt B will put it into your. Uh, actually, Control B doesn't allow you to immediately paste that blueprint, does it? So no, you'd have to then get that blueprint and then paste that blueprint. Instead of a, like, control C, control V sort of thing. Uh, 
Right. Inventory full. The battery. What am I going to do about that battery? Oh, control alt x right yep for a cut everything sort of thing hey robob uh capac muller what but yeah the that's going to be a huge change for this mod and it's potentially going to mean I have to redo all my blue rants. Ugh, so annoying. That's still so cool. Just being able to design stuff more... Like, I don't think I'm going to redo my sheds that I've already done. Because they're already done and they work pretty well. Uh, but it does allow me other options for other things. Alright. Battery is loose. Now. Let's see how we go. I think I have to grind away one of these power cells to get this to be owned by me. No, I don't. It's now mine. Yay! Sweet. Yep. It's mine. That is incredibly useful. It's not the assembler that I was hoping for, but it is incredibly useful. Alright, let's delete these parts around here, and then we'll get a crane. And then I think it's time to head on home. Do some building. It's a lot of scrap. So I got a battery, I got a couple of Atmo thrusters, and I got a, some large grid stuff. Still haven't gotten enough... I thought, actually, I don't think I've got a single hydrogen thruster yet. Hmm. like to get one. Or, you know, six. Oh, I have, oh, maybe I've got exactly one. Yeah, that's that could be right. At least I've now got a battery ready to go for when I do start making my escape flyer. back to thrust. Yeah, arguably. I feel like doing, I feel like going that route almost circumvents part of the idea of my scenario here. At least what I was trying to do with it. Because it so dramatically changes how much you need.
and that, and that. There we go. Pink thing over there. Home base that way. Guess homeward bound. Am I going to find random stuff? I think I'm going to find more stuff on my way back. What is this? Uh, I got the park resetting thing worked out when I was testing out the server so that I could have the Twitch integration working. Uh, so I just... It was it was a lot of um, messing around in the... the script window, so I decided not to do it on stream. Lamo. Yeah, I haven't found an event controller block yet. So I can't add an event controller. They are out there. They can be found. But I haven't found them yet. Oh man! <laughs> stop, stop spawning all around me! Alright, I'm checking this out. We are never gonna get home. Uh, event controllers are in the public version, and I'm currently not playing the public version, so there are even more. Well, I say even more. I've got lots of sheds, and a couple of them have them, so there's a chance they'll be in one of those sheds. What's in this little thing in the outhouse? I think it's just a toilet. Yep. Yes, the spawns you have will automatically update in the sense that new spawns, when I publish an update, new spawns will be the new stuff. Old spawns don't change. They already exist in the world, so nothing changes with them. Ah, the Book of Tahan. Oh yeah. something on that hill. Oh, there's so many things I can see. Ah! I... <laughs> I uh... Alright, I'm going to head towards home. I'm not going to go too far off course. Uh, what I will do is more building like I planned, but then potentially do another scouting run with my flyer because that helps me find specific things more quickly. up ahead. Oh! Is that one of my new buildings? I think it might be. I think it might be. 
It is. And that's a shed too in the grass, I think. All right, what do we have? Someone's house. Anything in the bed? No. Anything in these containers? Yes. Yeah. Nope. Um, don't think there are too many blocks. I don't think there's much in here that I really want. Uh, what about the shed? Has the shed got something good? Medium cargo container. Programmable block. No. <laughs> that is a resounding no. Nothing I particularly want. I left creative mode tools on. Curses! Um, well, as punishment, I don't get to find out what's in there. Oh, actually, as punishment, I get to find out what's in there, but I don't get to take it. No, it's nothing anyway. Ah, poop. I hate when I do that. Man, that would have hurt if that was <laughs> power cells in there. Oh. I still would have deleted it. Need to remember to turn it off straight away. Swing a bit right so that I can get through this little ditch. Yeah, I might need to make the occasional power cell a little more common in cargo. Like, I'm not talking like finding five of them, I'm talking like finding one of them. Because I really want the power cells to be the slow burn. So I won't... They're not going to be... They're never going to be a common thing. The joy of RNG is that some people are going to have a very easy time finding lots of engines, getting lots of power cells, and other people are going to have nothing. Uh, and each run you do is going to be different. And that's, that's very much intentional on my part. I wanted that sort of feel to it. Because it means you don't, like, it gives it some degree of replayability if you don't um, have that ability to learn exactly where things are and completely um, negate any ability to play it through again. Uh, 
And I'm deliberately powering up here as fast as possible just in case I need momentum at some point. random bits of junk around me. Ooh, that's what I might do. Once I get back home, I know I've found a few things about the place, but this tower. I was about to say, but when I get home, should I delete anything that's far away and go search for new things? No, that's fine, Werewolf, and I don't I don't need a copy of the hangar. I love your design, so I'm gonna try and adapt some of it to some of the spawns, but yeah, I know <laughs> I know exactly how it's done. Thank you though. Did a fun bit of scripting today, a toilet. When you sit on it, an L C D lights up with a crossword puzzle on it, passes the time during jumps. Nice. That's awesome. Uh, how to best offload the truck. I think I might be able to use the forklift to get some of this stuff. And I might start by getting rid of my modern art piece. What do I have over here? Batteries. My one hydrogen thruster. Survival kit. Whole bunch of tanks. I really should start draining them. Another survival kit attached to the base. A couple of medium... A medium con cargo container and a whole bunch of O2H2 gems. Yeah. Yes, the mod is live. Big battery not built. Medium cargo. And a tank with 41% in it. Alrighty. I might... Let's see if I can work out a way to do a little draining system. So I can clear... Because my plan is clear off the trailer and then work on redesigning the trailer so it actually has a ramp that functions a bit better and has simpler control for it. Uh... Well, see, installing a bunch of them on the truck just kind of feels like pain. <laughs> I'd rather f try and find a, ca a tank to put onto the truck so then I can drain into a larger tank. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is this. We'll go up a connector.
then we grab some steel plate. connector then it'd be a conve converter on the back of there but we'll build this and lock it down first I know I could have just done this with a hinge but I'm like I'm gonna do it this way because why not Further. Uh, I don't want to put the small connector on the side. Oh wait, I might be able to get underneath actually. Let's see. Yeah. I do that. Yeah, I don't want it on the side. I want to create like a little platform to put the, um, to drop the tanks on, that has the connector. Hmm. And I was thinking of maybe putting, like, the connector that way, because that might be easier to line up. Yeah, we can. That's right, we can do stuff through subgrids with Build Planner now. Forgot about that. see if we can make this work. So what I need is the materials for a small connector. Maybe grab a few. Yeah, so the reason um, putting small tanks onto the the trailer or the rover do doesn't really make sense to me is I'd have to do double fiddling because I'd have to fiddle some of them onto the rover and then I'd have to add more... I don't know, it just... It seems like it's probably not going to work out that well because the tanks are usually pretty much full. I should put this on stockpile. Although maybe if they're not full then it works because at least the ones I start putting on there. Either way, this works. At least I've got a draining system at base now. Which means I can start getting rid of my pile. No mod for withdrawing components, that's vanilla behaviour. I have a tutorial on it, it's about Build Planner. Which I possibly should rename because a lot of people no, no longer know what the actual thing is called. This is working really easily. <laughs> nice. That didn't look happy. Hey, Jazz Mojo. Uh, I'm not sure I can carry two at a time. 
Also, then I'd have to merge block them together. What have I done? What monstrosity have I created? <laughs> Maybe I should change this out to a hinge. Doesn't look... Oh, nope. It's back. Okay, that was just a server issue. Cool. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, let's add a button. No, I'm always down for buttons. I like buttons. Uh, let's make a big button. Big button for connect. Drainage connector. Because it is also still quicker than... Um, than using build planner. You empty? You're empty. Uh, Wasted's had some PC issues recently. Um, like, major issues. I'm not sure how that's progressing. Uh, there's people in chat asking about him. Why are you no drain? No, the tank's definitely not full. It's at 42.78%. Um, this, this tank is behaving like it's off. This is a... So, I've had issues like this before. Um, Capac and I ran into it in Scavenger Hunt. Where, for some reason, just hydrogen tanks wouldn't work. And the only way we got it working properly was to copy-paste the grid. So if I do this... Cut. Paste. Lock. Nope, still not working. Hmm. Uh, power shouldn't be needed, should it? I'll try merging it. Alright, let's switch lock. Let's grab some merge blocks. a little out of the way, so I can place the other one. There we go. Yep, that fixed it. Okay. A little annoying, but at least it's fairly easy in this on this platform to do it. Yes, KB, someone did mention a similar issue on the Discord yesterday. That's what made me want to try and work it out. Um, it's definitely not a... Like, as far as I can tell, it's not a thing I did with my mods that's caused it. I think it's just a more... It's a occasional vanilla issue. 
No, your stockpile is on. Let's turn that off. Uh, was I? Th I couldn't remember whether it was you, Werewolf, or whether you were part. Of I knew. I thought you were part of the conversation, but I can't remember. As you can see, filling this large tank with these small tanks is going to be slow. <laughs> but it's something that I should probably do, and something that I'm not going to do entirely on stream. Uh, we'll leave that pile, and we'll just get the ones off the truck now. Caught it. Oh yeah, I've, I have I have learnt the um, the proper controls <laughs> now with improvised experimentation, uh, so I don't throw blocks when I don't mean to. But I'm kind of just lazy with how I do this stuff. Once I've got a way that works, I'm just like, yeah, hey, I'll just keep doing it that way. How many tanks have we got on here? You've got nothing on you. But yes, I should probably use the commands. It's just... I think part of the reason I've been... I've not done it is because I um, I have a tendency to pick stuff up while I still have a tool in hand and the controls don't work super well when you've got a tool in hand. <laughs> ah, empty. So we started at like 41 point something percent. We'll check the tank at the end and see how much I've got. a quicker way of doing this I think with improvised experimentation as part of the mod set I feel like the way I'm doing things is the fastest although it does make me wonder whether merging the tanks together in the field might expedite things because at least then when I get back home they're all stuck together um, but really I think the ultimate way to do this would be so that you're not doing it all in one hit um, find a larger tank and use it on your truck. The, the downside of, I guess... Considering I can move these by hand, the downside of linking them all together is then I wouldn't be able to move them by hand. I might need to figure out how many of them... Whoa! How many of them I can move at once. Because if I can move, say, three at once, then it makes a lot of sense to join them together. Could save some running back and forth, true. Uh, man, so many of them. Uh, 
Uh, the flying will commence hopefully not too long. Doing this, then I'm doing the trailer, then I'm going to go exploring for more stuff. So I really want to find those hydrogen tank, uh, hydrogen thrusters. And I don't think I've got anything here that strictly requires me to, um, the, anything here that I want to strictly use right now. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm just going to dump these for a moment. I'll do these, uh, off stream, I think. <laughs> it's getting a bit much. have I got? Up to 47%. Actually, that's better than I thought. It's maybe about 1% per tank. That's okay. Which kind of says how low I thought it was going to be. Have I considered putting a layer of tanks under the trailer? I was thinking about it momentarily before... Um, it could work, but I then need to have a way to connect up to the base from the trailer as well as to the truck. Yeah, I also want to build a gantry crane. There's too many things. I always want to do too many things, and I never get all the things done that I want to do. I should know that by now. Jar it. Off you come. Drag it. Ow. Kick it. Kick it. Kick it. Ooh. Oh, I can't drag it up that hill. I'm going to have to move this with the crane. Oh, wait. Forklift. Forklift can move that later. Uh, speaking of forklift, it's probably going to be my best way to move these tanks around. Uh, grab your hands on the... <sighs> Improvised engineering, experimentation, whatever, uh, with default settings is just way too easy to my liking. It kind of... It negates any... Like, any serious reason to build a crane. In my mind. I know others would differ. Ow. If I seriously managed to do that without getting a lock. If I do this. Yeah. This is not a safe way to operate a forklift. Yeah, I do need a loading dock. One of the things I'd like to do is something that was suggested a while back uh, and see if there's a way to make the truck parking spot low enough that I can sort of drive straight up to it. Tilty. Reach those cargo containers. I don't know. I don't think so. Alright, let's use the crane and I'll drop a bunch of stuff on the ground. And I can pick it all up with the forklift. Ah! 
Why have you moved? That's inconvenient. I might want to make a... Oh, actually, I probably don't. I was tempted to make a position that the crane automatically goes to when I want to deploy it. But I was worried that those conditions are a lot more variable. So... Are more likely to be problematic. Like, as in, are more likely for me to run it into something. Uh, you know what? You can go there. Okay, so that one is locked, I think, on the right hand side on two, three, four, five. Yep, got it. Works well enough, it's close enough to a stack. Let's get the cargo containers. Ooh. Let's not catch my crane on things. So those are locked down. Two, three, four. And it's the middle. Actually, pretty quick when I get going. Like considering what I'm working with, I think this is pretty quick. It's also really fun. <laughs> I really enjoy messing with this stuff. Six and right and left. Ooh. And bucking trailer. That was almost bad. <laughs> Nope, wrong key. That one. Where? Ah. Uh, Zach, I don't know that I've actually changed my crane design in any meaningful way. I've only finessed tiny little bits, but the overall design is still the same. It's a single elbow two extending arm parts sort of thing. I don't think I've actually changed it. Stuff I've done in the past. Because it's a design that works. It's a design that makes a lot of sense and it's really quite flexible. So I haven't had a real reason to change things. Oh yeah, the crazy double piston section is just for aesthetics. <laughs> that, that is, oh, that was a lot higher than I thought it was. Uh, that is not for function, <laughs> at all. Three. That'll be that one. No, 
No, don't roll down the hill. Oh, that's inconvenient. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I need a drink before I deal with that. Oh. Get myself some water. What have I done? Trying to put things in positions where I could get to them with the forklift. Yes, Jax, it is 8.30 in the morning. Uh, I, I'm not in a mood for alcohol at 8.30 in the morning. Which is probably a good thing. be able to. Go a little further that way. Need to be delicate here so I don't push it further. Aha! Locked. Alright. Um. E. E. There we go. <laughs> it is like trying to scratch you back. Okay, that's better. At least I've got enough large atmos for a booster section on whatever rocket I decide to build. Hey, Shaq. How's it going? Uh, three. Unlock. Yee. Yeah. Ooh, that was very close to smacking into the ground too hard. Uh, cool. And then we go that, and then we go that, and it collapses for me. Aragath, I'm surprised you're concerned about subgrids, like subgrids make you nervous. I would have thought, um, with the way you build that <laughs> some of that would have been, oh, I didn't move the gyro, that you would have gotten comfortable with that by now. Uh, Chuck, the new patch is treating me okay so far. I did find some weird glitches the other day, which Keen are aware of, um, related to targeting non-deformable uh, grids with the missiles, but the missiles are still aside from that issue, really effective. Let's try and grab that gyro. Yeah. Be better if I can get it up on the flat platform, no not lost in the grass. Yep, done. Flaps. Alright, time to work on the trailer. So first thing I need to decide with this trailer is where I want this drone to hang out. Because the drone can't really hang out on the truck. It's, it's just a bit too... Um, yeah, it's a bit too likely to get in the way of the crane. Similarly, it can't sit at the front of the trailer because that causes the same issue. Oh, Shaq, yeah, I've got, um, I got the grabby hands, which I've modified to make a little more mean, so it 
I can't even pick up a gyroscope. Like, this is a small grid gyro. I can drag it, but I can't lift it. Um, so that I, to force me to use the cranes and forklifts and stuff more. I think... Well, let me check. I think I f might... Oh, I don't know whether I did this on the server. Have I made it so that I can't throw blocks 10 million kilometers? Oops. What's the throw key again? Oh. Yep. I know after the throw. <laughs> Left mouse, right mouse. No throw. Because uh, I realized that I hadn't actually modified that particular bit of behavior previously. Oh yes, and I do have a Twitch integration going as well. Yes. I, I obviously, for, for setting this scenario up and for setting these mods up, I obviously took heavy inspiration from how much fun was to be had with Escape from Mars and the whole having to salvage grids to get stuff. Um, and capturing things. And I think a lot of people who've been playing Space Engineers for a long time, that's really the magical part about Escape from Mars. The story's okay. The story holds it together well enough, but it's the gameplay. It's that salvaging approach to things that's really, really fun in it. Yeah, exactly, Shag. It's that feeling of progression, salvaging bits, and the fact that the progression lasts for more than two hours. It's just nice sometimes to not have to think about every little, um, like, not have to think constantly about what to do next. So, one of the things that I find when I'm playing Space Engineers that can get really difficult, once you've gotten a lot of materials, is how to make the thing you do next interesting. And even more so, how to make it interesting for other people to watch you do. Thanks, Shaq. It's kind of you to say. Because um, it gets really challenging to kind of think up ways to make doing this stuff interesting once you've got all of the materials. So it's nice not... It's nice to be like, yeah, I don't need to think about this th that this time. I'm just going to ignore it. I'm just going to do what I want. Because I need to do this, because the game's pushing me to do these things. The game's providing that for me. That is not the same colour as the rest of this thing. Which is only bad for some of it. But I don't know where to change the colour. <sighs> ramp. Design the ramp, then design the trailer. Uh... Hmm. Oh, uh, yeah, Aragath, you can paste links. Defiant Zombie, if you want nighttime ambient lighting in Space Engineers to be brighter, you need to use a brighter skybox. Ambient lighting is dictated by the amount of stuff that's light around you, and a lighter skybox will give you a lighter night. No ramp, make a lift gate. That's kind of what I'm thinking. So the one that I placed there had problems. 
with, you know, it interacts with the truck and stuff like that. And that's obviously not ideal. Yeah, the trailer's going to jiggle. It just likes to jiggle. <laughs> that's just what's going to happen. Uh, where is the last row? Okay. Just thinking about the way that that's parked on there and whether, like, how to make the ramp work with that. I think what I'll do is I'll chop off this back row. And maybe the next row as well. Part of me is wanting to do something really dumb here, like having the trailer curl up rather than having the ramp curl up rather than fold up. Uh, but I don't think it's going to like me doing that. Oops, wrong spot. two little ramps. Leave the middle bit empty so that it doesn't get in the way of the flyer. Do I ever need to pick up l regular large grid cargo containers? Uh, like these ones. Yeah, they're too heavy. <laughs> they may have stuff in them. Can I embed the connector? Possibly? Oh, yes, my pile of scrap. There's this pile of scrap, and then there's the sorted piles of scrap. Which is sorted by block type. I have a lot of loose grids around here. Ah, uh, no, no, not running ore scrap. Ore scrap would... Uh, this wasn't balanced with that in mind. Uh, cause, cause I can't build any of the blocks. Um, like a lot of the normal blocks are missing. If I had all scrap, you wouldn't get enough stuff. And no refineries. At all. Um, so... Let's rotate that around so down is down. There, and another one. There. Yeah, so I removed the parts from the buildable list because I... I found when uh, Kapak and I played our scavenger hunt thing, that was quite a useful way of making sure you didn't do stuff. And, of course, it's the same as what was done in Escape from Mars. Except in this, you can't unlock the building either. You've always got to find the blocks. Uh, let's go with... One of those... And hinge part. Gotta love the jiggling on a server. Go that and might go the half one in there. Let's go the wrong way with those. That should be small enough that I'll be able to walk across it. Ew. Not 
Rusty, come on. Uh, yeah, so this I'm running this on a dedicated server for the Twitch integration mod part of it. Because uh, it's a Torch plugin. do this the same as my front ramp. Really. Have it collapse on itself like that one does. So that might need to change the way those are set up. This one, instead of like the front... Might do. Come on, please. Might do these ones so that they fold out the back. Bits. Yes, make it just like what on the front, because what you need on a trailer is on a jiggly trailer is more subgrids. Yeah. Eventually the jiggling just becomes so ever present that you don't even notice it anymore. how I like how I've done this but oh well stick with it for now then we go that nope we don't put a hinge there what am I doing yep always jiggling always bouncing just is what it is Oh yeah, for so for people who have started playing the scenario for themselves, um, while you can add stuff like abandoned settlements, it is going to thoroughly mess with my planned progression for the mod uh, because the the abandoned settlements mod is very generous by comparison, um, which is fine if that's what you want. Uh, just be aware of that. What you're gonna get. Because I think, if you know why you're changing it to that, then, yeah, no problem. Hello, Charlie. Hello. You have a very wet face. You must have just been drinking water, and now you've dribbled it all over me. Thanks. Thanks, dog. Yeah, like my personal feeling would be if salvage is what you want to play, don't use abandoned settlements. It, it's just, it just gives you too much stuff. It will mean that you're you're gonna have the same problem that you're trying to avoid from vanilla of things being over too quickly, because there's just so much stuff there. Energy low. All right. 
Let's see if this is going to work for me. Oops, if I attach things. I might just attach you and switch off all of the hinges on one side and just not use them. So they're, they're purely for aesthetics. So it makes it a lot easier for me to do stuff with build vision. Yeah, so exactly the same issue with TFE's uh, wreckage mod, yeah. But I mean, these mods weren't made with this playstyle in mind, so it makes sense that they might not do what they should do. I presume this is going to be, yeah, super easy to walk up. So what I was thinking I might try and do for this one is set up a sensor at the rear... So when I walk near this, it'll deploy and stay deployed until I go toward the front of the trailer. So maybe as I'm walking past, it'll trigger and then it'll rise it, raise it up. Yeah, Shaq. I reckon if... <laughs> I, I do understand why Build Vision has never been made vanilla because it doesn't really feel vanilla. Uh, it's an awesome mod and is something I always play with but um, what I reckon would be really cool is if you did the same sort of highlight and as you go to highlight it your um hang on what's the emote for it uh, of course my emotes are broken you check your wrist and on the pad comes up the controls and you can use the exact same um, control scheme that you use for build vision, but it's all showing on the little uh, display on your arm. That would be incredible. Like, similar to the old animated interaction mod where you kind of string out that wire, but instead you just bring up your wrist pad. Yeah, that that's the one. Animated interaction. It would be so cool. Uh, the reason build info isn't by default um, in Scrapyard or in a lot of my saves is it's a bit HUD cluttery. And I record with Capac and he doesn't set up things like that, so... I don't want all the HUD clutter on his end. Um, similarly, I think TFE is a bit that way too. <laughs> so it's really just to control the footage I get from them. <laughs> I think I've got them both set up now. The same as me, so that there's minimal stuff there. TFE will probably pop, up, pop his head up soon and say, No, I, I do it as well. Which may be true. Capac definitely doesn't. Agreed, KB. It would be great if we had a way to load a collection of mods from the workshop. So that we could do everything. Like have a default setting baseline things that we use. Ah, uh, yeah, we do have build info in AA, so I must have told them both to set it up at some point, and I've completely forgotten. Because uh, we wanted to do stuff airtight, so if you want to do airtight things, build info is kind of a must. Because of the air leak finder, it is honestly kind of a part of build info that I wish would go vanilla. I don't think the other stuff should be, but it should be. There is no means to manage the scrap that you acquire as yet. However, Energy at some point, critical. I will add space stuff 
to this so that you can progress to space and you'll be able to find all of the different blocks up there. Because once you get to space, I think the progression from there is really, let's see what I can build by stealing stuff. And the space stuff will be intentionally a bit more hostile. Given that this is basically not hostile at all. This is pure engineering challenge. Would it be worth putting an actual lift on the other side so that you can load draggable things that can't drag up the ramp on the lift? Hmm. Uh, technically, I could do it with this ramp. Technically. Because all I'd need to do is have this part be able to go completely flat, and then it kind of hinges it all up. It would make sense to have something different on this side, though. So I kind of like the idea. Even if I never use it, I'm going to build it. Just kind of the way a large chunk of my builds end up. I'm never... I'm going to build this cool thing. I'm going to use it once and then forget I ever did it. See you, Jack. Uh, lift though. Do I want it hanging off the back? I'm not sure I want it hanging that far off the back. I may have to modify this design a little bit. No energy. No. Oh wait, there's a survival kit on the truck. What am I doing? Power, all the power. Oh, yeah, make it fold out then low. Yeah. Does mean I'm going to lose this connection point, but that's probably not that bad. These ones at the rear are kind of difficult to use anyway with the flyer there. And are probably best not used with the flyer there. So yeah, we'll get rid of these. Lose those plates, that's fine. clearer what's going on. Okay, so... Fold out. Pistons push down. Flat platform. Comes up. Okay. 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 Put these back. So I'll do the same as I've done on the other side. Two hinges. Pop that out. Then. Now I've just got to think about this <laughs> in the new orientation that it'll be at. Because this is... Oh no, wait. This is the, this is the orientation it'll have. So... I need to have it so that it can push down from here. <laughs> Brain, work this out. So we have a lift platform here, and then it pushes down. 
probably need to do something like this. Oops, not that way. That way. I think I've got an idea of how to make this work. I would love to be able to talk my way through it, but I'm percent sure it's going to work. No, stored underneath would not work here. <laughs> Uh, this definitely needs to be stored above. Let's go... That might actually be enough. Let's see. So if I then put a piston on here... See if we can get it to go down low enough. I'm not sure it's going to be able to. This might be too high. So it kind of needs to not be blocks here, but actually be just plate. Uh, which is probably also not going to be happy about. Uh, so we'll use the half ones. So the colliders on the plates, I think, are still big. really want to have to use two pistons. Um, There's another way I could make this lift. I mean, I could just set this one up so it is like the other side, except it's designed to function as a lift. Let's test something. I'm going to put... Uh... Let's go grab some stuff for some barred windows. So obviously the block to test with this is going to be the gyroscope, which I really don't want to have to do down here, but... Well, I really don't want to move down here because then we have to move it back up. But I think I'm going to have to do it <laughs> so I can test. Uh, for anyone suggesting that the piston's in the wrong spot, notice how I've got this block here. That block there means that it doesn't matter that the piston's a bit higher. And the piston needs to withdraw to be level with this so that it can be walked straight across. So the, posi the position of the piston is correct. Uh, what I was thinking of doing was that. But that ramp's still pretty steep. So 
I'm not sure that's going to work. Hoop. Alright, I'm going to try something different that might work here. I don't I don't want to mess with the trailer suspension. It's really annoying to mess with that every time. I I I find it really annoying having to fix the suspension every time I have to adjust it just to park. So what I'm going to do instead is the piston on here then another hinge yeah that's the right way around Charlie, what are you doing to me? Opening the door, it's freezing cold outside. Come on, dog. So mean. Okay, now... Come on, Grain, you can work this out. Then I go with... That on there. Let's go grab the bits to make this work. Charlie has... No, she doesn't bite. She grooms. <laughs> she does this grooming thing that's kind of annoying sometimes. She kind of <laughs> nibbles on your sleeves. And sometimes gets a little bit of your skin. Okay, so we're going to go all the way over. We're going to go all the way down. And then the piston's going to extend the tiny bit it needs to to put that on the ground. And we have a perfect ramp, a perfect platform. Then we have here. Oh, that doesn't attach onto there. That's annoying. Uh, what if we go with these? No, we can't go with those. We're going to have to put this on here. Then, to go up, I retract the piston. Then the hinge goes to zero. Both of them do. And I walk off. And I'm half a block wrong. Yes. I'm a block off. Uh, how do I fix that? Whoop. I felt so clever as I was making this and then I've done it wrong. Ah. <laughs> Just as a side note, since someone asked, um, 
this is how I set up my trailers now. That's my basic trailer hitch. Rotor, hinge, rotor. Gives you steer, roll, and pitch. Your roll and pitch. Move the hinge block one block higher. Yes! Yes! Thank you. That is the solution. Excuse me. Yeah. Meh. All this for a contraption I'm unlikely to ever use. Fun to try and design though. Need to add a command to Nightbot for hashtag one more piston. All right, then we go with a piston. Piston on there. Then we've got our floor. Now, annoyingly, this design sort of necessitates three saved positions for the hinges and the pistons. Oh, uh, they're just the hinges, actually. Which might be problematic. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not quite sure how to make it not require that. Not sure how I'm gonna fix this. <laughs> I'm not sure how I'm gonna control this, I should say. I'm not sure what the best way, given my limitations I've got, is gonna be to control something like this. I may be able to use park. I do have another programmable block somewhere around. Because I could set multiple home positions and just use park to transition between the three spots. And just have three buttons that send that command to park. So I could do that. profile on the main one that only has controls for that. Yes, I guess I could do that too. an extra programmable block then. That goes there.
Yeah, park can be used for a whole bunch of stuff because because it's got that return to home position and the return to home position is unique to a specific profile within park. You can actually have that profile be a particular floor for the elevator or in the case of this, I'll set up three profiles that literally just have three different home positions that this moves to. For the pistons and the rotors. No, pistons and the hinges. Um, and that should give me the the buttons I need to control this and make it go up and down. Yeah, and with the priority you can set it up to do things in certain ways so that it in orders as well, so that you can have things staged properly, which is also really handy. Before I get too excited and build too much of this, let's see if I can actually set it up to work. Uh, are you off? You're off. You're off. Okay. So you go down. You go up. And then the pistons go down. Energy Which I can't do with build low. vision because I need both to move both of them. And I need to make sure that both of those hinges move in unison so that this platform remains level. Yeah, exactly. Well, that was exactly my plan, Edric, was to have the this thing set up entirely as return states and just use buttons to go between the states. <coughs> then in theory, once this has collapsed, I should be able to do something like this. To stow it. So we have a stowed position as well. But this one, all I need to do is set up a reverse button and set up limits on the hinges. So we'll set that up now. So lower limit is going to be minus 30. And upper limit is going to be 90. We'll set that with a velocity of minus three or something. This one is going to be no. Wait, did I just change the wrong side? I think I did. Let's fix that. Minus thirty. Give a bit more talk. Actually, probably don't want more talk. Now that I think about it. Uh, 10,000? Sure. Hmm. Not enough. Okay. So that goes from there... Then reverses and goes down. I'll need to set the pace at which that happens. Random blammo was probably an unknown signal. Uh, so these are going to go from 0 to minus 90. So our upper limit is going to be 0. Limit zero. That gives me a nice ramp to walk up. Then we just need some names, which is 
trailer ramp hinge two and this one will be trailer ramp hinge one then we need a button although I was gonna set up a sensor wasn't I uh sensor Parts to be able to make a sensor. I do. Alright, so you are going to set up actions. Wait, I need to make a group of those hinges. Not tail, trail. Trailer, ramp, hinges. Say. So on entry, uh, oh, 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 poop. Ah, uh, don't like this. <sighs> Dang. I don't want to use... I don't want to use a sensor. I, to use a sensor, I'd probably want to use another park thing so that I knew which way this was going to go. Button is better. Yep. So the problem with the sensor was going to be that as I entered and left, Energy this thing low. was going to go up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, and wouldn't then have the correct state for my presence because it's a reverse command for the rotor for the hinges yeah all right button it is buttons work now i'm gonna need to set the speeds up helps if i have speeds on them This needs to go further, so it should be a bit faster than these. What's it set to? Minus six. Let's try five. Energy critical. Pretty close. Yeah, close enough. Yeah, and unfortunately sensors haven't gotten the multiple toolbars that I was hoping for. Alright, we have ramp. That people can stop complaining at me about my ramp. thinking I might try and make it a bit more obvious where my landing gear are. See how I feel about this before I do all of it. Alright, now next thing is a bit more complicated. Next thing requires me to go into park... So what I'm going to do is in my custom data, I'm going to add three extra things, which are trailer, lift, stowed, trailer, lift, up, and trailer, lift, down. Then 
then I need to name these things. So you're the off one. You don't need to matter. Trailer, lift, hinge. One. Trailer, lift, piston. Trailer lift hinge too. Oh, that was something I was been meaning to check. Can you guys hear the pistons? So, do you notice how you can hear these pistons? You can hear these pistons. Take it closer. Oh, come on. Let me up there. You can hear these ones. But you can't... ...hear these ones. Um... I think there might be something funky with the park script that makes pistons constantly make noise. It's either in the park script or it's just in pistons in general. But it was something that drove me absolutely insane in um, Scavenger Hunt. And I actually added the piston sound to Sneaky Sounds for that reason. Yeah, I think the piston is being constantly active, and I might need to let Trekker know about it so they can fix it. See if there no is something empty. they can do to fix it. Like, it may, it may be a general piston thing. I'm not sure. Actually, I have a way to check. Uh, where's that battery? There it is. Okay. Let's just quickly do this. Because I just want to get sidetracked by this while I'm thinking about, about it. And I... Yeah, there's no sound. So yeah, I think I think it is a park script thing. I'm gonna have fun removing these heads. Oh no. done to myself. That's all of them. Over there. And then there's this one up here. Nope, 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 nope. Yeah. There. I think I got them all. Okay, turn off creative. Place those bits. Okay, so, trailer lift pistons are labelled, the hinges are labelled. Now, I think I need three timer blocks to make this work as well. Because I think what I need to do is tell Park to switch profile and then activate the return to home. Which is two separate commands. So, for the button to work, I need to have 
three timers for this to work as well. You guys think it might be just subgrid wobble causing it rather than anything else? It's possible. Get that piston noise when using reverse to shorten the piston while it has a maximum distance in place. Ah! So yeah, it probably is coming from the script, because the script sets min, min and max and keeps pushing against the minimum. Uh huh. Alright, so, uh, need to recompile park. I think. I don't think it would have added the stuff to the custom. Nope. Alright. Okay, trailer. No, what? Huh? No. Why is it not adding the berg? Why are you not doing the things? Have you added it to the other ones? I wonder. Okay, it's added it to all of these ones, but it's not touching the other ones. Why? Oh, because it's not part of the park group. Right. Yes, that's why. That makes sense. Brain park, and we need to also add our trailer stuff. We got that step. Trailer lift hinge, trailer lift hinge, trailer lift piston, trailer lift piston. Save. Alright. Now we should be able to do it. Okay. Trailer. Try left hinge one. So, <laughs> what position does trailer lift hinge one need to be in for lift up or stowed? So we'll start with stowed. Stowed is at 90 degrees. And for stowed, I should be able to have everything happen at once. So hinge one, custom, stowed will be, return position is 90, return speed, let's go three, return order priority is zero. Okay. Hinge two is currently also at 90. So we do the same there, stowed, return position 90, speed three, priority zero. <coughs> Then the pistons. Trailer lift stowed. Return position zero. Return speed 0 0.5. Priority zero. Stowed. Speed 0.5. Priority zero. Okay. So in theory what I've just done is told Park that the position this is currently in is where these want to be when I activate the stowed profile and tell it to stow my lift. 
Um, so what I'm going to do next is set this to the horizontal position. Just to make it easier for setting these up in the thing so that I know I get the angles correct. So that'll be at zero. And this will also be at zero. For this one though, I think I want the pistons to be activated first. Because this will often be the position we go to after being down. And I think it would be nice for the pistons to activate then the hinges to bring it up. So for this one, we go trailer. We go trailer lift pistons. They're going to try for the stowed. This isn't for the stowed profile. This is for the trailer lift up one. Return position will be zero. Return speed is 0.5. And priority is zero. So that's for both. For the lift up. 0.5. Now, so that that happens first, we then go to our trailer lift hinge one. And for our lift up position, our return position is zero. Our speed is going to be three. And our priority is going to be one, so it's second. Because it comes after zero. Three. Priority one. Okay. And then... <laughs> we set up the last position. Which is going to go in the opposite direction to what I was doing for that one. So, to go down... Oh, man. To go down, I need to set up my hinges. So, they go to... For trailer lift down, we're going to go to our return position of minus 89. At a speed of 3 with priority 0. The reason it's minus 89 is these will tend to lock themselves and go past their limits if I set it to 90. And then the pistons are going to go to position 1. Speed 0 0.5. At priority, boop. 1. And we hope... I've set this up correctly, because that means I can then go to my timer blocks. That's not how you spell timer. Automaton timer block. So, TB, trailer, lift, stow. TB, trailer, lift, up. And TB, trailer, lift, down. Now I just quickly go to park and just make sure I've got these correct. Time blocks. Setup actions. So I want to, for this, I want to tell park to switch profile, which I think is just saying that, to switch the profile. And then I want after that. Oh, what's the command? Uh, I gotta look in the script. <laughs> I've forgotten it. Nope, wrong thing. Return, thank you. I think it's return with a capital R. I'm not sure if it's... No, it's lowercase r. So we need to set return. Okay. TB. Try to lift down. Stow, I think I did first. Run, return, confirm. Apparently, I've set up one of these hinges wrong. 
Which one? It's going to be hinge two. Which should be plus 89, not minus 89. Thank you for the reminder. <laughs> Thanks, Suna. Uh, so that's our stove. Then we can get the other profile. We'll go down now. Trailer lift down. So that'll be this one. Setup actions. Park. Run. Trailer lift down. On two. Run. Return. Confirm. Um, so, now I should set up these buttons and make sure this works <laughs> before I try and set up any more. Uh, I'll be right back in just one sec.
sorry about the abrupt disappearance, everybody. Um, my partner was having some trouble with Toby's pram that she needed me to sort out. There you go. Now. TB. Set up trail lift down and stow, so... Um, how do I want this? Down, up, stow? Up, down, stow? I think down, up. Drink it now. Okay, let's see what happens. Alright, nothing. <laughs> Oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> oh yes! Very nice! Uh, now, try to lift piston. I need this to go a little further down for the down position. Turn position 1.2, let's try that. Okay, since that's working, let's also set up our up. There we go, park. Run that. Turn. Then we go TB. Up. Trigger now. Then we go park. Recompile. Then we go up. Ooh. Stow. Down. Oh, yeah! Oh, oh, no, just slow. Oh, it's so cool! <laughs> That's the part that looks really cool. Uh, let's go... Down. Oh, there's such a long wait before the pistons go. Hello? Pistons? Oh, I think I know why. It takes a what it's trying to check that the hinges are in the right position first. So it takes a bit of time. Okay, and then we go then we want to go up. And we can walk straight on. And then we want to stow it. So good. So good! I do... <laughs> there's a part of me that really loves that one script that I've bothered to learn properly is so capable of, like, so many of these things by just slightly misusing what it's intended... <laughs> what some of its functions intended purposes were. Basically got a wheelchair ramp for a trailer. Yeah, exactly. That is exactly what I've got. Oh, so cool. All right, what do I want to do with the rest of the trailer? Does it need to be interesting? I mean, yeah, it does. It's one of my builds. Of course, it has to have some interest to it. Kind of it all be boring. Um... That one. This is going to be fun to match the other side. That goes there. And that, that, that. Hey, 
Hey, Trot. <laughs> How's it going? Um, yeah, that is very satisfying. <laughs> it's very satisfying indeed. Now I wonder if I can move those numbers somewhere better. Maybe I need to move them across a block so that I can... Because I kind of like the look of the hazard going around the landing gear spots. Just stopped crashing drones for the night. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to move the numbers. Move them to the middle. That might work better. We go with a two there and a two there. They'll be a bit more prominent. And then I can still have my hazard paints. Because the numbers will be hidden with the hazard paints, so that's why I didn't want to do that. work. Uh, the reason I made the numbers yellow is to make them more visible against the rusty background. It was the most uh, clear color I could I felt that I had at the time. It seemed more it stood out more than white. Uh, Tex, I do have the Digi's paint mod active in this. I just don't have a... I don't have a painting tool. Uh, pink might be more visible, but might I... Actually might not be with the way that it gets displayed. Uh, I, I added the paint tool to the... Actually, let me go check. I think it might be even manufacturable from a survival kit. No, just canvas and that. Uh, you can make it from the basic assembler, though. So if you manage to find a basic assembler, you can make it. Energy low. Um, uh, yes, maybe never. I probably should put it in the loot tables. The thing is, though, if I put it in the loot tables, I think it gets replaced with, like... Oh, that's probably not a bad thing. I think it gets replaced with, like, uh, pistol ammo. But yeah, I probably should put it in the loot tables. Go. Oh, I'm doing this wrong. I'm doing this 100% wrong. Just looking at this going, this is kind of ugly. I want to see if I can do it better. Uh, before I get excited and repaint all of it. Uh, what I want to do is these. Which I may well end up looking worse, but given the size of them may look better. Yeah, I think this is better. Yeah, that's much better.
The survival kit can make gravel. So you can make the paint chemicals. I use the paint mod so much that it's one of the few mods I've actually added compatibilities for. I know there's a quarter block, but there's a reason I haven't placed it, and I'll show you. Notice how the things don't align? He's ugly. So it actually Energy will look better critical. without them. And at least now from underneath, I don't have the paint coming through on the underside of the trailer, which is nice too. So that makes me happy. Oh, how did I turn auto rotate on? Ew. Uh, there's no triangle corner, no. I think this works. It gives the landing gear that little bit of a highlight. I might change the landing gear paint color as well. Keep it rusty, but change the paint color so that it, they stand out a bit on their own too. So I think that'll just add that bit of extra visual interest to what is otherwise a very flat, by necessity, uh, surface. I think at this point we all know I don't like flat in my builds. Although I was saying that, that carrier I've been building has some large flat areas, but I'm still happy with it. Oh. No energy. No energy. Yeah, I could see the I could see the paint coming through when I was on the ground and I didn't like it. I'm gonna open my helmet. <laughs> There's uh I don't know, there's something about block based building games that having perfectly flat surfaces just ends up feeling really boring um, where that doesn't happen in obviously real world builds like a giant skyscraper made out of glass you kind of it works but I it might be because games have avoided large flat surfaces and so just not used to seeing it in games I don't know So next up, I'm going to paint these and go with grey, extra rust, let's go darker, yeah. yeah maybe this rust. Works. Yeah, furniture being off grid in any grid based building game is something that gets to me too. Not being able to place things just slightly off. It's something I really like to do.
It's why in my like my fur my earliest um survival series I built so much out of small grid. Like I built heaps and heaps of interior parts out of small grid so that I could have them be slightly off grid. Can you explain the number order for my landing gear? Yeah. So, on my hotbar of my crane, I've got, on hotbar 2, I've got these three going from left to right on 1, 2, 3. Then these three are on num on the third hotbar, these are on the fourth hotbar, these are on the fifth hotbar. So it means I've got a consistent naming scheme that makes it e means that even if I haven't played for a bit, I can still remember exactly how to control it. Which is really handy. I think part of the uh, push against having big flat areas in block based building games is that. Often, a big flat area is a big repeating texture. So it's why, for the carrier that I've been building in Assertive Acquisitions, I've been using the Weldless box, uh, texture. Because it's a perfectly flat texture, the large, perfectly flat areas have no repetitions. So I can divide them in the way that works for me, uh, rather than having to follow whatever the artist who designed the block chose to do. Which is real handy. Let's get some struts under here. I might regret putting these blocks here later because they do limit my clearance over a hill. <laughs> the weldless has to be used quite carefully so that it doesn't look just super boring. And I th I think I got it right with the carrier. Because I've, I've used it to allow me to control what shapes are seen as visually important. Which... Oh, I placed those wrong. Which helps me... Um, keep the visual interest at the right level. And kind of messes with the sense of scale. Which is kind of fun, too. That's right. in your survival kit? Hmm. Weird. Weird. So I definitely didn't add him. Well, I don't think I did. Oh, where have I just placed that?
Oh, I have a trailer that actually, I think, I don't want to do much more design-wise on it. Because obviously the more I put on the trailer, the less I can put on the trailer. I kind of want to keep it relatively s simple on top. I might paint this part in darker, but go back to the heavy rust. See how I feel about this. I need to do more of it before I decide whether I dislike it or not. That piece needs to be a white because it'll be fun. Oh, wrong key. Hmm. Not sure I like that. Uh, let's try it with the normal rust. Like I've got the other bit. You back and you. Yeah, I'll live with that for now and see how I feel about it later. Thanks, Justin Mechanic. Thank you for 29 months. Found a neat old mod, grid delete with button by climb. Of course, of course a random mod like that is by climb. Who else? <laughs> uh, so for the, the painting, what I'm doing, to paint three a 3x3x3 three by three by three area, you press control and then middle mouse. To paint in a 5x5x5, five by five by five, you do shift. To paint the entire grid, control shift. Go in here. Oh, that was a mistake. Should probably match that on this side too, just because, you know, can't have them looking different. Sort of asymmetry is weird. Oops. Ew, Andriel. Ew. Build and repair. Ew. At that point, you may as well just use creative tools. <laughs> Alright. I'm really happy with this. So the trailer is now designed nicely. I probably need to do something to pretty up around the hitch area, but not really sure what I want to do there. And the uh, the truck I'm pretty happy with otherwise, though. I will be right back. I need to take a quick bio break. Uh, and then I guess I might start trying to think of a way to lay out this gantry crane that I wanted to design. But I'll be right back.
All right, so the idea that I kind of had initially for a gantry crane was, if I just mock it up in small grid first, so you guys can understand what I'm doing while I'm trying to, because trying to do this in large grid is going to require a lot of scaffolding. Yeah, let's just make a bit of a platform. So ignore this platform bit. This is just so that I've got something to place this on that's about the scale I wanted to work at. Ah. So what I was thinking of doing was having something lifted up a decent height. Doesn't need to be like insanely high, just needs to be high enough that it clears the truck and can lift and haul stuff. And then my rails would be mounted on, would effectively be pistons mounted like this. Place. So we'd have like some stacked pistons, both sides. And then a piston, then we'd have in the middle a block, and then we have pistons, piston chain coming off the other way. Then we have a piston going this way. Block, and a piston meeting in the middle. So... The downside of this design is that I've limited the crane from not being able to move along to this part. The upside of this design is that I should be able to make this work with the park script. Thanks, Daylock. <coughs> to Laylock, which is really hard to say as I get all croaky. Um, <coughs> but this was my idea. I've just got to figure out how far I needed to move so that I can minimize the number of pistons on it so that I lose the minimum amount of... Oh my gosh, my voice. <coughs> Hopefully that's better. Yeah, there we go. Now I can talk like a normal person. Well, like a me person. Thanks for the prime sub auto defenestratophile. Yeah. Mouthful. Uh, so. How many blocks long am I going to make this? And how many pistons am I going to need to move something along that full length? I'm obviously going to need to enlarge the size of the hangar area and bring it out further and probably push it out further this way to include enclose this. But in theory, I could build it on this row here and have it be tall enough to clear everything quite nicely. Pistons to make it move. The reason for the pistons to make it move is then it doesn't require a way to connect up to the base and... I'm also not mucking around with making wheels in rails as I've done before, but takes a long, long time to do. Because obviously I could make this like the gantry-based mining vehicle that I did in Survival Impossible, but uh, that's not very stable, and I might be lifting something heavy. I guess I could make it out of small grid pistons to make it co more compressible. Let's see how many blocks we got. Anyway, so if we start from say here, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So if we say 16 blocks, If I want to be able to move it, move stuff 16 blocks along, 
which I think is reasonable. Um, that would be four pistons worth of extension. So I'd need four stacked pistons, which would be eight blocks either side of that 16 that the pistons would need to sit in. So it needs to be 32 blocks. Ooh. That's a lot. Um. <laughs> I don't want to do it anyway, though. I should do it anyway. Yeah, let's do it. Why not? Go big or go home. How high up is this? One, two, three, four, five. This row? Probably this row. Let's build some ramps. Remember the way I do this <clears throat> to make it most efficient. Oh yeah, that's right. Do it this way. Uh, that. Go up. Place that. Place that. I want this to both be efficient and attractive. I don't know what is going on with my throat at the moment. It's really annoying. I apologize for the coughing. That goes there. That goes there. Then I climb up and I can place the next block. At least I know that um, NVIDIA Broadcast does get rid of some of it. forklift to lift me up. Um, yeah, I still need to be a bit higher than this. And up again. is <coughs> that is our height okay uh, I think we can go that one then I might be able to get away with that. Yeah. Nice. Okay, we have <laughs> we have that. Now we'll build info, let me cheat and place these from down here.
Oh, so close. If I'm one block higher, it will. Yeah. Stairs and catwalks are so much more practical than ladders because they are usable without the welding. Really? Oh, there we go. Yeah, I might want to go a block higher just to make this a bit easier. I just want to be able to walk around up there and place these pistons. Oh. Oh. I'd have done this wrong. Oh well. That's annoying. <laughs> That's actually really quite annoying. Uh... Yeah. It kind of needs to be on that side of the tower though. Now to build a roof vent. Yes. That could work. <laughs> have that be access to the roof. I'll probably build more, like another. I'll probably build stairs elsewhere. Um, but this can it can work for now. It can work for now as my way to get up and down. I think what I'll do is I'll come out this way till I'm near the tree and then I'll start placing pistons and then we see how far we go. Oh wait, I'm going to... Oh, I'm only going to be able to go 15 blocks because of the piston heads pushing out a bit further. Figure it out. Come on. What place you? No. Oh, why are you being like that? Ah, <laughs> uh, the solar panels won't be a problem at all. They're so much higher than everything else. They're not going to be a problem. How many blocks am I away? Go a little bit further. Let's see if I can do this without dying, shall we? Oh, it's not going to let me place it because I'm inside the block area. Go further. Yeah, Minecraft was certainly kind to players, allowing you to place as you lean over the edge of something. It's just one of those things, I guess, as a player, you're going to probably want to do. So it kind of makes sense to just let, let people have it. Alright, I think this is going to be far enough. So, pistons. Need to get out of the way. Inchworm gantry crane. Yeah, kind of dragged on. Kind of. 
instead of rails, I'm making pistons that look like rails. Because the pistons are going to be connected on... Like, there are going to be pistons on both sides of the carriage. Because I think that'll make it... Stable, yet make the pistons look like they're a rail as it moves back and forward. Uh, yes, I probably should dock the truck so it charges while I'm doing this. Should indeed. Come on, trailer, go back. I don't get much turning power out of this. I guess makes some sense. I'm gonna be cheeky and see if I can get this to work without having to mess with that. And I can. And I don't have my connector on my hopper. Uh, hot seat connector? No, the hot seat is the thing. Uh, it'll be one of these connectors. I'm gonna need to label it. Connector left. Connector left. Switch lock. Lock. Alright, there we go. Now we're getting charged. Oh, uh, and turn off puck break. Deploy ramp. Scrapyard where Splitsy plays SnowRunner and Space Engineers. Well, I mean, you can't play SnowRunner and SnowRunner, so it makes sense. I was kind of hoping that there was going to be some sort of mod like that for um, Farming Sim where you can get your tractors bogged and you need to get someone to come and pull you out. So I reckon that'd be quite fun. Okay. See where this goes to. All right, so that's as ugh, I went too far. <laughs> uh, well, poop. Because that's going to be, that'll be the full, like the furthest it can go this way and then it would go all the way back to where it was. So I probably want to move up maybe f six blocks or so.
Uh, no, not one more piston, because then I have to add one more piston to the other side as well. That'll take too much space. Let's grind these off. Come back a few blocks. Uh -huh. I thought that was going to fall on me. <laughs> I <sh> <laughs> uh. Live to fall another day. I do not know what it is with me and fall damage and it being even more inconsistent than it is for other people. Okay, let's come down, say, to here. Hopefully this is going to reach more where I want it. We're coming, what? One, two, three, four, five blocks closer. Yeah, that'll be alright. <clears throat> I'll work with this. We'll just redesign the hangar around it if need be. Kamak looks at the ground and dies. Splits he falls from 18 meters up and walks away without a, with a bruised ego. Yep, pretty much. Interesting. If you click add piston head, it paints the piston head the same as the piston. So it's not all shiny. Add piston head. Painted. Fascinating. Well, at least to me. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> it's going to be the same distance dragged on, but it's the position I wanted. So, what I'm working out with this gantry crane is maximum reach point, which is inside the hangar now. And then it goes to minimum point, which is back about... Where is it? One, two, three, four, five. Here. So I can go from here to where it is currently. Which for inside the hangar I think is going to be adequate. I've wanted to test if building a gantry crane like this was even doable for a long time. Uh, so that's going to need to come back to this block. That means I would want to attach the piston to it on that block. So I need to go back nine blocks from here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There. This will get attached to there. You could probably make something like this have a much better reach and be a lot more compact if made with small grid. One of the reasons I wanted to do this with large grid though um, was surprise surprise, aesthetics. I presume that was an unknown signal. Um, so aesthetically, I think the pistons kind of look a bit like rails so I wanted to use them a bit like rails. Whereas if I made a big chain of them, um, of the small grid ones, I'd need to 
I need to be quite a lot more clever than I'm feeling right now <laughs> to make them look like rails. This can totally work. So the gantry crane can just offload from the truck, and then the forklift can do all the fine maneuvering elsewhere. So the gantry crane doesn't really need to have massive reach to fulfill that role. Yeah. Now we go with piston. really just an overly complicated way to unload the trailer. Which I feel is quite on brand. Uh, now, could that go... That could go another block closer. Unnecessary engineering is what Space Engineers is about. And it's really good at it. Are you going to let me place you, though? No, I'll have to retract the other piston. There we go. So I'm thinking the best way to do this is going to be remove that, replace it with a merge block and just merge, do put two merge blocks in there. And then I can figure out how I'm going to do the horizontal rail. <laughs> Which, there's a part of me that's tempted to go small grid for that one. Oh, wait. Wait a second. Full extent for me. Oh, wait. So, what I probably want is actually less than a full block between them. I want to move this up again. I wasn't planning on using it to transfer materials. I was planning on using it just to move blocks. Hmm. Um, largely because I haven't even got... I haven't designed anything else around that concept. Like, there's no top-mounted connector on my trailer or my truck. Urgh. Silly asthma, cold weather. Blech. All right, merge block time. Piston heads are attachable, but piston heads have a rotation to them. 
If you mess it up, it explodes. That's Capac discovered. At least large grid ones do. Seem to? Maybe they don't? They seem to. Uh, I think that was what went wrong with Capac and his crane and why it exploded on him. Attachable but keyed with no indicator which way they go. Yes. <coughs> there we are. Pistons attached to both sides. So what I'll do is I'll set up controls in park so that the pistons on this side move the opposite way to the pistons on this side. So the pistons are just going to move. And so it'll the gantry is just going to move along with these pistons. Uh, and then I was initially planning on just doing this with large grid as well for the horizontal component doing the same thing and then probably just two of them because that should reach far enough I reckon it'll be, um, I reckon this will look nice. It's not as practical as you might want it to be, but it's also more stable than putting wheels on rails and then hanging heavy things off said wheels. How many blocks across is my hanger from this point? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So it's probably going to be 12. Which means. Oh. Which means it doesn't neatly divide into the large grid pistons. If I put. <coughs> if I put two large pistons on each side. They'll have like three blocks of movement either way. Oh, that's going to be so little. Because my plan is to put a rail down this side as well, made the exact same way. So I have two rails running that way, and then I've got the one in the center, which the car hangs off. may have to go small grid for this bit. Trying to think it through. So the idea would be if I've got from here which is under which bit of the hangar? Okay, it's the first bit of that section. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, so 12 blocks. And if I put three pistons down, I've then only got six blocks space left. And three pistons doesn't work because I'd have to use four. Which would then leave me only four blocks, so I'd only be able to move from here to here. Which would be kind of useless. Um, 
Come on. <laughs> uh. Trying to think of a neat way to transition to small grid here. Yeah, wheels with 100% strength. I've found a not um, as stable as less strength. I guess I could try and push that piston back a block, which would then allow me to do the two. We'll try that. I'd like to keep these as large grid because I just think it's going to be easier. Uh, well, I think it's going to be neater. Oh, actually, no, I don't want to move it back a block because then it's going to stick out and I'm, the rails are going to work funny. Uh, I think... I think probably hinge flopped over, converted to small grid is probably the way to go. Then make the rails out of small grid. Yeah, because if I if I stuck the piston back onto this block, I then wouldn't be able to have the catwalk running along here, which I do want for looks. Yeah, I could go under it, but then it can't lift as high, so that's not ideal. And at some point it is going to have to convert to small grid. You know, I need to do that at some stage. Uh, yes, it is Friday morning here for another hour and ten minutes. Hey, J Mac. Since I'm going small grid, there really is no need at all to pipe this through because it's going to go to small grid pistons, which can't really pipe much. Uh, I need another way to get safely up here. <laughs> Safe, what I am doing right now. Oh, of course I don't have any plate on me. And down the stairs I go again. Style over performance is the only way. Form over function. If I can somehow manage to get both, then I'm happy. But I will always, I will almost always go for style first. I, and I think in Space Engineers, part of the, like, there's a big reason I do that, which is you can always go bigger and so something you need to stop yourself somewhere and so for me that ends up it's the aesthetics that stop me from going to truly ridiculous sizes i'm just going to build these across here so that i've got something to build back from and then i can make myself kind of a floor to build over there Uh, Zorvius, it's up to you whether you want to delete everything around you and keep scanning your local area or whether you want to build a mobile base and keep moving elsewhere. Because once you get 25 kilometers from a, an MES grid, uh, it should delete itself. 
I don't know if that applies to no longer owned, as in to unpowered ones, though. It certainly deletes the ACS bases. Don't know whether it requires the behavior blocks to function. But yeah, I think that's up to you whether you want to be in one area or want to move around. Okay, so if we're going small grid pistons... Um, what am I going to do? Small grid pistons have the same ratio of extension to base length. So I'd still end up with the same limits unless I stack them a bit. So I'm leaning towards stacking them. But I'm trying to decide how to stack or nest them, depending on which way you want to say it. I think I know what I want to do. And I think it's going to be excessively stupid. But hopefully it'll look alright. So my idea is to bring this out far enough like that, so that I can have two piston rails coming from each side because of course what could possibly go wrong with even more subgrids uh four more one two three <laughs> this is this is definitely my playthrough i am not putting this many subgrids into a spawn So my thinking is, I need to be able to reach, how far was it I needed to reach? It was 12 blocks across, which is 30 meters. Um, to reach 30 meters with small grid pistons would be... Eight of them? It'd be 15 using their extension, but they also include a meter. So they're sort of... They're sort of three meters long? So it'd be ten. Uh, so if I try and get eight, I think I'll be okay. So if I go one, two, three... Oh, let's start on this side, the one that's harder to reach. One, two, three... Four. And then I was going to double back... I can probably go with three and then have one extending out. Oh, that's dangerous. No, I'm not going to do that. I could do it, but I'm not going to because I feel like I'm going to stuff something up and then it'll all just clang out and explode and I'll cry. <laughs> I'll be very unhappy with myself. So what I'm talking about is putting a piston this way and having one of them set to contract when all the other ones are extending. And... No, 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 no. Alright, I need to climb down. Uh, actually, maybe I'll do this with blast door blocks. Blast door corner. Corner. Let me place the blast door over there then. No. Well, you suck. Dang it! I can't. I can't stand over there. I'm gonna have to do uh, 
this. Corner. Stop the other end so I can match these. Yep. And then I'll stack the next row of pistons on there, and that's going to be one rail. And then I'll do the same on this side. And those will be my two rails. And I have to obviously duplicate the entire setup on the other side of the hangar. Once I confirm that this in fact goes far enough to reach almost the other side of the hangar. Oh, so much jiggle. And let's share an Earth Dancer there. And let's do it here. And let's copy and paste all these settings. I am taking my life in my hands by standing on top of jiggling pistons. Okay. See how we go. Let's go get the parts. <laughs> Jiggly means you're doing something right. It certainly means you're doing something. Okay, so we can get... So with this, that's where it's placed so the car would sit here. So it's going to get like six blocks reach. <laughs> uh, we'll see. We'll see how far it reaches. I might be able to sit the car underneath and have the other side reach. I don't know. We'll see. This is one of those designs where I, I reckon under the right circumstances you could make it work and have it actually have function as well as looking interesting. But as it's the first time I've tried it, I'm almost certainly going to do things in ways that I'm going to look back on and go, yeah, I shouldn't have done it that way. That was not ideal. start. Oops. And this is where I hop off. Let's go see where that went to. Okay, that's about right. That's pretty much spot on. So I just have to then match it on this side. Match the whole contraption on this side. Um, 
and then try and build a gantry hanging off it. And with some untold number of subgrids as part of it. But I think I'm going to leave that for uh, future splitsies pro to be future splitsies. I think I am going to leave that to be future splitsies problem. Uh, I'll be back with hopefully some tutorial video next. I'm going to go and record some stuff soon as soon as I can figure out how to do the stuff I want to tutorialize because I want to do another automatons tutorial. I'll hopefully be able to get that out before the next assertive acquisitions, but I'll be recording more of that tonight. Hopefully with a whole lot fewer crashes, because I'll be in a fresh save that doesn't have all the broken mods that I had on it. Um, so. Uh, otherwise, I'll be back on Monday with some uh, farming sim I'm going to be digging into on Monday morning. So there's all that, and plenty more to come. And I will see you then. Thanks for coming, everybody. Bye.